You say you just tired of f***ing with names That all of these niggas just treat you the same You showing them love but they just playing games Oh, you were a shorty, you not a dame That's your mama, yeah, cause she raised the queen I'm a drug mama and I am your fiend Trust me now, baby, let's live our dream Buy you diamonds, I'ma get you nice things Told you once, let me tell you again Promise I'll be by your side till the end Yes, sir, back at it again with another J&J &J family video And it's your boy Josh. And it's your girls Jenny and Kimri. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can tell by the title, you already know what's going on. I believe Jenny either well, it was today, yeah. Today, yeah. earlier today, she asked on Instagram on her Instagram story. By the way, if you guys don't follow us on our Instagram, go ahead, go do that. But she asked on her Instagram story uh for you guys the same questions so that we could do a QA about uh the whole labor and delivery. So real quick, you guys already sent in a bunch of questions. So we're gonna go ahead and answer that. Obviously, mostly Jenny, because <laughs> your boy was just like a spectator. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really do too much. I was, I, I, I was just there for support. You heard me? No, he did a lot more than. What's up? I feel like having a supportive partner What's during the most like vulnerable me? time like that is much needed. Like it helps the experience ten times more. Gigi's downstairs playing because yeah, she's, she's, she's like really energized right now. That's why she's not here right now. But she's downstairs. She's like really like she's, getting all her energy she's out. She's trying to run into Cameron and all that type of stuff. So we yeah. got her downstairs <laughs> with her uncle right now. Yeah. Okay. So let's on Monday, November 7th, we were supposed to get scheduled for an induction because midnight, yeah. yeah, we were 41 weeks. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we didn't think Henry wanted to make her way into the world earlier. And so, you know, as you get into the story, you'll hear. So basically, that was Monday. So we were like, oh, we're going to wait off. Like, it looks like she's not even going to budge. Then Saturday, Gigi and Josh are sleeping. I cannot sleep. Which didn't really throw me by surprise because I freaking couldn't sleep anyway. But I was having contractions. And I started timing them at 6 in the morning. And I was having them for an hour. Um, and they kept getting closer and more intense. So that made me think, okay, like this is probably maybe like the real deal. So I called Josh's mom. I let her know what's going on. She's like, oh yeah, just go to the closest hospital because mine for the hospital that we were going to is going to be an hour away. So I didn't know if I could make it. If you guys have ever given birth or heard about birth stories, it feels like you're taking a dump, right? When the baby's down there. And that's the feeling that I was having every time during this contraction. So that either meant that baby was ready to come out or i was dilating quick enough to where i could be in active labor so both of those alarmed me <laughs> so be. literally woke up josh like literally he had to like roll out of bed like take the bags out like it was like a whole movie type thing like my water didn't break or anything i just was having very intense contractions i called both hospitals let them know that what, what was, was going, going on, on and we ended up going to the one that was closest to us just to ensure that we were going to be okay because like I said, it was gonna be an hour and we could have hit traffic and like God forbid my water ended up breaking. Like that would have just been a whole nightmare. So we went to the closest hospital to us, which was perfect. They were amazing. Literally every staff member there was so attentive, compassionate. Like Very honestly, sweet. I had such a great experience. If I, like I'm not having another one, but if I were to, I would definitely go That's there. That's the hospital. Like 100%. I would recommend that hospital because they were just phenomenal. Like every single one of them, I can't even like, brag about it, it was, enough it was perfect though, yeah right? like and that wasn't even like out of 10. i mean their work e probably even harder because i wasn't a registered patient there yeah they didn't like i'm from a whole different county, county. of where i was supposed to be given birth yeah anyway so one of the questions you guys asked was did the epidural hurt at all so with gg i went unmedicated with kimberly i got an epidural um they give you an epidural during your contraction so for me personally i felt like i was focused more on my contraction pain and staying hmm? no, no, no. Oh, and staying like hunched back and making sure i wasn't making it harder for the anesthesiologist but it didn't hurt it was really a pinch to me um and it wasn't as bad as what tiktoks make it rave about i know everybody has their own experience and everything but for me like it went great i was on cloud nine, I, I had a great experience with the epidural. I feel like it just depends <laughs> on your anesthesiologist because he was very good. Yeah, also too that I heard it like depends if you're straight or not. Like if you're moving during your contractions, that makes it harder, makes it but, more room for a mistake maybe. But uh, they, they distracted you very well in the room. Like the nurse is yeah. talking to you the whole time. She's yeah. saying she took your hands and then she was yeah, like she was really like... Hands. like she, was sweet. And she was sitting there talking to you the whole time, talking mm -hmm. about a bunch of random stuff. By the time that the dude stuck you, I don't even yeah, remember. Yeah, I was yeah, like, you're yeah, done? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't yeah. even know. He was already telling you you were good. You were like, wait, 
<laughs> you don't. You're, you're, you're a gay man. Like. <laughs> yeah, so that was perfect. Um, a lot of you guys asked a lot of questions geared towards the epidural. So a lot of you asked, was I in pain while I was in pushing? No, I was not in pain, but the epidural does not take 100% of the, like, of the feeling. feeling away. So yes, I didn't feel pain during my contractions, which was obviously the goal of which of why I got the epidural. But you still feel pressure down there. So every time I had a contraction, I would feel the pressure. I just wouldn't feel the pain that goes along with the contractions. And then with pushing the same thing, I felt the pressure, but I didn't feel any pain, which honestly made the labor experience a lot better for me. I feel like I could grasp my emotions more. With Gigi being unmedicated, I was like pushing. I felt everything, like all the pain, the ring of my, like, and it happened all really, really fast. So yes, that's good, but also a bad thing, because I felt like my body just went into like rush mode. Yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah. know, but if that makes you sense. You on three pushes. Yeah. Oh, that was another question. How many pushes did it take to get Kimberly out? I think it was four. No, it was, More? It, was it was like six. Six? Oh, six pushes. But that's because I think they were grad I think they were trying to really make sure I wasn't going to tear. Too or too much, yeah. Yeah, I did tear. The, so more pushes with Kimry, but I did tear. I got a second degree tear, but I also had that with Gigi. Um, it hurts a little down there, but it's not unbearable. Um, I think, yeah, it's okay. I've been taking ibuprofen if I need it. So <laughs> that's been helping you girl out. <laughs> um, was this labor a lot easier this go around? Yes and no, because I went to labor naturally and I got an epidural. So I feel like I loved both experiences because both experiences I got two beautiful girls out of it. So yeah. I love both, honestly. How was the hospital stay and how long did you stay? Like you like heard in the beginning, it was perfect, but we stayed for a day, literally 24 one day. Twenty four hours. Yeah, they got us because a everything there. went well. I had a vaginal delivery, no blood clots, no nothing like you know anything to alarm for me or baby. So we went home real quick. Yeah, it was one hundred percent healthy too. So they both just yeah. got to leave. Off rip automatically. Let's see. Um, how was labor on a scale from one to ten? I would say the contractions were crap before I got the epidural. That pain was at an eight for real because they were back to back. My contractions were every two to three minutes, so I really felt like I did not get a break. Did not get a break, but God really helped me out. I was listening to worship music and I was really focusing on my breathing. So by the time I got that epidural, the girl was good. For during, during that girl, the contractions was coming about every minute and a half. Though. Yeah, I was like, looking at the chart, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like looking, and I'm like, dang. And they needed her to stay uh, like that because uh, Jenny was, what is it called? G I think GBS it's called GBS. Positive, positive, which isn't like, like that. nasty, but it's not it can bad, be bad for baby if you don't get treated. Yeah, she was like, she had that though with Gianna, yeah. and they treated her well. But with, with Kimberly, what they needed to do is they needed to give Jenny some anti antibiotics. So mm -hmm. they had already pumped her in with one bag, yeah. but they needed to wait another four hours to give her the next, the next bag. One. So Beautiful she had to sit off. there and labor for an extra four hours. Kimberly could have been yeah. born. Because I was already dying. Way before, already yeah. Nine, they, were, so. they were pretty much telling her to hold. Which is a lot easier to do with an epidural because yeah, your body's relaxed. relaxed. Yeah. But like... Let's say I went unmedicated, we would have kissed those four hours goodbye. Um, wait. No, because no, they tried to do the same thing with Gigi. That's they couldn't give the second one because she just. No, they weren't. Me. They weren't telling you to hold though. No, but they were. They did tell me that ideally they do want two um, doses. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that's that, insane. That, yeah, yeah, they didn't tell me to hold because I had no meds. Like they would have been insane. <laughs> you know, no, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, girl, yeah, she sucks. coming out regardless. No. Did I poop? Interesting question. I did not, apparently, unless the no. doctors lied to me because I no, asked. No, no. This time she didn't. <laughs> I asked, I was like, hey, did I poop? This time. My water liquid, though, squirted them bad. <laughs> that, that was wild. <laughs> I was like, oh my when, God. When like, the, the, second, the second Cameron came out, I'm talking about, All like, exploded. like we didn't, like, thank God we was able to, like, zoom in and cut that out, uh, out of the, the labor and delivery vlog. But, but when I say, like, the like the water this like a, a large amount of water came shooting out splashed the nurse all over her leg i'm just standing there i'm on the I'm leg and i sorry. i see it and i'm like and then i like I, I, but you know you gotta stay locked in you gotta yeah. I'm like i'm like keep pushing baby you're doing you're doing good and i'm just yeah i was embarrassed I so know. embarrassed no, I was like to be embarrassed it, it was a quiet moment besides like the monitor and then you hear like, <laughs> like, yeah, for some reason though like everything was loud right jenny's pushing <laughs> And like, I'm not saying loudly, she's screaming, but she's like, you hear her, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and, then, and then like, you hear me talking, 
the other nurse is telling her when to push and all that type of stuff. For some reason, everyone in that room got quiet right before that water squirted. Yeah. So I'm talking about everyone <laughs> stopped talking for a quick, like, three seconds. We yeah. all just... And all you hear is... I had to say like, sorry. Like, I was so I was embarrassed. Like, yeah, she said sorry. I'm like, don't, don't, don't be sorry. Yeah, you can yeah, actually hear that part sport. in the video. Like, we zoomed out so you guys wouldn't see it, but I think you can still hear that yeah. part in the video. Like, you ain't got nothing to apologize for. Even though in my head, I'm like, damn, boy. <laughs> she's a super soaker. <laughs> but anyway, so another question. Did she go natural or epidural? Let's verify what natural means. Natural means vaginal. Okay. I didn't even know this myself. So... A lot of women do go natural. Now, if you choose to go them. unmedicated or not, now that is the difference. So I went unmedicated with my first. Kimmery, I was medicated. And there's an nothing wrong with getting an epidural. Yeah, I think both experiences, like, I'm glad I experienced both, to be honest. Because now I can say I know how it feels to go unmedicated. The how it feels to be high up on a cloud was like... That's a wild statement. <laughs> <laughs> So a lot of people asked how many centimeters was I dilated when I got the epidural. I was four to five. So my pain tolerance was, I wanted to get it like when my pain wasn't like unbearable, but enough to where it would kick in to yeah. where that pain was unbearable, which definitely like, honestly, this labor went really, really great. Besides like the scare of like having to rush yeah. to the hospital, not knowing that if I was going to get admitted or not, if it was a real deal or not. Would y'all like to have another baby? No. No. We are done. We're good. <laughs> Two girls and dead. We are good. Okay? This is all y'all finna be seeing. I'm telling y'all that. Not for real life. What does delivering the placenta feel like? Honestly, about? just like a big glob. It really doesn't hurt. You do have to push it. And like someone will press on your belly to kind of help it come out. But it doesn't hurt. I mean, to me, it did not hurt both times. It just looks kind of rather disgusting when you see it. Men put it in this big bowl. Ooh. You're like, ugh, that wasn't me. Like, ugh. <laughs> the color looked disgusting. But, like, there's a lot of benefits to your placenta, I guess, if you get it, like, capsulated. Or some people be eating it, like, raw. Yeah, I would never do that. But capsulated. Ooh. I feel like there's a lot of pros to it, but it ain't a big deal for me because I didn't do it this time around. Or with my first. Our first. Do you breastfeed? Interesting question. Yes. But pumping, I tried doing it like directly and my nips got cut, it hurt. Actually, I'm due for another pump soon. But yeah, no, I've just been exclusively pumping and feeding her what I pump. Um, if let's say like when Josh and I are taking turns, I don't have any milk, she's getting formula. But lately, she's just been drinking the cholesterol. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I've been provide like, she I've been having enough for her. So yeah. That's that. Pumping has just been a better experience for me than on a booty. Straight on the, yeah. Oof. You didn't look like you were in too much pain. Was it the epidural? No, I wasn't really in pain, but you feel the pressure of me pushing. Like, I felt me pushing, if that makes sense. So, I wasn't in pain, but I was really trying to, like, my face, I know, was, like, really, really red, but... Like you're constipated trying to poop? Yeah, I was Yeah, I was really just trying that's to what, like that's what it looked like to me. push down. Like that's what they say to push down to get baby. And I was really just trying to do the best pushes that I could to get her out. Because obviously pushing is not fun for the baby either. It like uh what is the word? They, 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 they could get uh, distressed or something. Yeah, like distressed. That. So I'm obviously something trying like to that. get her out. Like I'm trying to push the best I can get her out so she ain't like because it's work for you and babies. Here's a question. It says both girls are absolutely beautiful. How are you guys feeling about being parents of two? You can answer that first. Hmm? You can answer that first. Um me, I'm 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 ecstatic. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cap. Um she was born on Saturday. Um, since then, I want to say since Saturday, today's what, Tuesday? Mm -hmm. I think I've slept maybe like eight hours all together, whatever it is. Yeah. It's been worth it though, okay? <laughs> Genuinely, it's really been worth it. I, 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 I give up those eight hours if I have to, genuinely. Uh, last night, I, like, last night was probably the hardest night and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I was up for a minute. But, like, everything, everything is great. Like, it's worth every second. Like, seeing it the second Camry came out, can't explain the feeling, but it's the exact same feeling I had with Gianna. And I thought, like, it was just, like, a feeling of happiness, you know what I'm saying? But I've, I've watched Gianna, like, grow into, like, the small little one-year-old one that she is now, and every moment is happy. But, like, that feeling 
of like when she first came out. Mm-hmm. I, you know what I'm saying? You know sometimes you want to bottle up a feeling, you just yeah. want to like keep it there, or whatever. Never forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that that same feeling came again, and it was almost like I got so emotional I couldn't even cry. I don't know if that makes sense, but like you know when you get that feeling that you wanna you wanna cry, and then like there's just nothing is coming because I was just so in awe of everything. She did a tremendous job. And I say I was watching her push, and I'm sitting there, and I'm at one point I'm really like looking at her like I, like this is really going on right now. Like this this girl is really gonna push out. A whole human being, like, think about that. For one quick second, you yourself sitting there. Someone (laughs) pushed you out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really, in that moment, it brings everything full circle. Like, like that that you're super strong to sit there and push out someone who's going to have their own thoughts. They're going to walk by themselves. Talk, like, everything they can really going to do is coming straight from here. And... (laughs) Can't me, you hear me? No, I'm just playing. But no, I'm 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 ecstatic. I I, I love him. I can't wait to watch him grow up together. Yeah, I feel the exact same, honestly. Like I feel the exact same. I like cried giving birth this time. I oh, this sure. pregnancy was really rough for me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, was it worth it? Yes, but from being nauseous so much, the pain, yeah. the tight. Ty- it was a, it, it was tough. It wasn't like the roughest pregnancy because I know some people have it worse. But it was it was hard for me. So seeing her come out and be like, wow, this is what I was growing it. in my womb, like for this long, it made the pain. I know it sounds so cliche where people are like, oh, like you forget about the pain. But for real, you do like you're holding your baby. Like I'm not thinking about how many times you make me throw up. Like I'm thinking yeah, about, yeah, yay, yeah. like you're, you're here, here in the world. So yeah, we're super happy. Um, it has been a little difficult. I mean, Josh has been giving me a lot of rest um, and I appreciate it. I just feel like sometimes like... Well, I feel like you don't feel the rest because like you know what I mean like when you're going after you give birth there's so much stuff that like you're healing yourself they wake and, you they were uh, waking her up dang near every hour they come in there yeah. gotta take a test for here they come in yeah. there oh let's try it let, let's, check like, your vibes. Yeah, let's, let's, let's press on your stomach let's get let's get let's get some more blood out Josh as a father what were your thoughts watching Jane deliver your new edition um I mean, it's very hard to put into words you know what I'm saying like everything I'm not trying to sound like a movie or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? But the whole time that we were sitting there and then she was just laboring, everything kind of felt like normal as is, you know what I'm saying? Me and Jenny, we always joking around. Like, <laughs> me and Jenny, we could go to the mo- a place where you have to be mad serious, right? But we will be cracking jokes like five-year-olds, right? She's, <laughs> she's getting the epidural and all that type of stuff. And I'm sure some of you guys have seen some of the TikToks and a little bit of the vlog. We were joking around most of that time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everything just felt like normal, how it normally is. The second it was time, when she told me, she was like, hey, go, go. You can go ahead and stand stand next to her. And I, yeah, I got to quit. I ran mm-hmm. up there. Second that happened, everything slowed down. It was like, there's no such thing as time anymore. There's no such thing as nothing. All I heard was the beeping of the monitor. <laughs> and then, what's it called? Um literally like i was paying attention to 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 jenny's grunts and paying attention to making sure that she was breathing after she was pushing every single time because last time she wasn't breathing like they had to tell her like (laughs) hey make sure you're breathing and all types so the whole time i'm watching i'm talking but i'm kind of talking just just true so she so she can hear me and kind of i don't know cycle i don't know if it was really working but i'm like just trying to make sure that she's breathing you understand what i'm saying instead of just holding her breath and then she doesn't breathe nothing like that i just wanted to make sure that she was breathing so it, it, it was just a very surreal moment it was hard for i was so proud of her like I, I it's very 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 difficult to put into exact words how i how i felt it was just a very 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 surreal moment and something i'm not gonna lie it's very difficult for me to watch the pushing on the video I haven't, I haven't rewatched it. What? I always skip that part. What do you mean? Huh? That it's difficult, like. I would. I would. Does that look like I'm in pain? No, it's just. I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm weird. In my head, it doesn't do it justice. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to have it like. Ruin what? Yeah, like, ruin yeah. like what? What? What was? I keep you know how there's some. You know. You know how some people say. You know how some people say like, when you go to a concert, instead of putting your phone up and recording. The person, like what they're doing on top of you, you should just watch it with your own eyes and take it in for yourself and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of it, it's kind of the same thing. Thank God the nurse was there. She had told me she was like, you, you better record, wrap the camera and everything like that. They, they were, yeah, like what? Nice. Like, the, 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 the hospital we was up before, they wasn't even trying to let us have no phones, no cameras, yeah, nothing like that. But 
this one. She was like, she was like, go ahead, record. She was yeah. taking, taking the phone. I take pictures. I'm like, she's like, Daddy, you want to cut the cord? She grabbed my phone. She said, go ahead, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> she unlocked it. She's like, she's like, okay, go yeah, ahead. She like, like getting that. the angles and everything. I'm like, I'm looking at her like. Like, I'm cutting a ribbon to the city or something. I'm like, she yeah. Because she got my whole crotch up in there, too. Perfect person. So, that's wow, she really did. She did. That's, I was like, and that's why I couldn't post it. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was in there like, I, I can't even show my family I didn't even picture. want to see what my crotch looked I was, like. I was in there I like, no I, can't, I can't even show my family this picture. Because everything, everything, raise it off. <laughs> Next question. Why did you not name her Kiana? I don't really like that name. For our kid, yeah, 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 like the name alone is. Pretty I understand. Easy. I understand why y'all saying that because Gianna, Kiana, yeah. I, I feel that, but we we wasn't we wasn't really trying. Yeah, to... Yeah, we never had a thing like oh we have to have a name with a G or all of the names. Need. I know some families are like that. Like we'll be like oh if you mean you have J, like everyone in the family would have. And yeah, 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 we, we didn't never really that. cared about we didn't that. Care it about was just that. we just loved the name. Yeah. Um. What was Kimri's name going to be at first? She's so adorable, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. And Nevea. Yeah. Nevea was going to be her name. We were going to call her Nevea Rain. Yeah. So, same middle name, but we changed the. I feel like I can't even see her as Nevea. Nah. I literally see her as Kimri. Like, even Doesn't when even she feel came like the name out. Fits. Yeah. Like, Nevea, I'm like, pretty name, but not for you. Mm -hmm. Not for you. I think Nevea is a very pretty name, but Kimri fits her. Yeah. And then last question how did you come up with her name <laughs> so, okay so this is this is, <laughs> this is this is actually like a fun i wouldn't say it's funny but it's like it's actually a wild way the way we came up with yeah. so we were dead set on the bed like yeah. nothing was changing it for us we had for told months. our parents family members our close friends ordered their name right and then we went to this place i had to go meet up with with this lady to mm -hmm. get some paperwork done for something that I'm about to I'm about to start in in December, we'll tell y'all about that later. But so while we're there, um, they said it was no problem for Jenny and Gianna to come with me. So we went over there and Gianna. First of all, we walking through there. She's saying what's up to everybody. You know what I'm saying? She walking in people's offices, all that type of stuff. And we're like, well, Gigi, like, call me. Like, every, everyone in there was nice. Like, no, she's beautiful, no problem. Hi, it's her third. Some guy walks up to us. He starts talking to us about Gianna. And he sees that Jenny was pregnant at the time. Mm -hmm. So he was like, oh, what do you do? She's telling him everything like that. He tells us that he has four four beautiful girls. And then he told us um, one of the names. Mm -hmm. And we were just like, that mm -hmm. sounded so like. Never heard Like, yeah, never unique. heard that name. And it sounded really unique. And it was Kimmery. Mm -hmm. So. We still and, and I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're watching this, yes. We stole your daughter's name. It's okay. We spelled it differently. Yeah. Still her name, but we looked up the meaning behind it, and it's like a very beautiful meaning. Like, we, like, so we were just like, you know what? I feel like this, 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 this fits her perfectly. So mm -hmm. I'm like on the spot. We both we literally were sitting there in the chair. It, Josh and I looked we, at each other I, like, I, like this is no, no, cap. yeah. Like, he said no the name. He's standing right there. We're talking to him because we're sitting down. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's standing, standing up. We're standing. We're, we're sitting down. Right. He's talking, and he says, "Oh yeah, yeah. My daughter's name is." Boom. He said that. Me and Jenny are like. It was like we both and then, read and then, and then each we other. continued the conversation and the second he left we were like we're That's taking the name. Yeah. Yeah. And I've never heard of it, honestly. Never. never. I mean now that we've announced her name, people some people have that name and if they're like they let us know, like, oh I yeah, have. I but seen I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. Never heard anyone with it, never seen like a movie or a show. Not to my no, knowledge no, at not least. I thank you guys for tuning into this video we we're just giving like a labor and delivery story slash q a for the question that questions that you guys had regarding that thank you guys so much for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe and join the family and stay tuned to the family uploads we have coming up because we have, family and we have uh, a lot of videos that we have in store for you guys bye you say you're just tired of Shorty, you're not a dame That's your mommy, yeah, cause she raised the queen I'm a drug mama, and I am your fiend Trust me now, baby, let's live our dream Buy you diamonds, I'ma get you nice things Told you once, let me tell you again Promise I'll be by your side till the end We be lovers, but we also be friends Hold your clothes, know your heart filled with pain Stick around, baby, you gon' be gang Hang with killers, yeah, my niggas be gangs Told my boys, I'ma give you a ring Just for you, I'ma go change on my wings Just for you, I'ma go change on my wings